this is my new place. <laughs> Okay, I got a new car, <laughs> an old car, <laughs> a new old car, a new old car, I don't want to go anymore, Manu, see you later, <laughs> see you. <laughs> this guy is my house, my dog is wondering what I'm doing, he's like, yo, what's this guy doing talking to a camera, my dad gave me one of his cars, I didn't capture any of the reactions or all that, but I was pretty excited, so, you want to see the car? This is the girl! It was more like he threw it away in my general direction and I was like Mine! 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 To be honest, I was really expecting something worse. I thought it would be in really bad condition but it looks really good and it works really great so I'm happy with that. But I do really appreciate it because I'm always up and down in cabs and at least now I have my own car. Not only two, but also Got some space down here for luggage. I didn't wash the car yet, I just got it but it's an automatic which means it's a little hard for me to drive. I think it's a little hard for me to drive. You have money down here. <laughs> I'm just not used to not changing the gear, but I think I'll get used to it. A little problem with this automatic, I'm not constantly changing the gears, which makes it a little bit hard to focus on the road, because you could easily fall asleep. But on the other hand, I don't have to change gears all the time. That guy that sells bars at the street, bro. That, 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 um, what's his name? The kid said he saw him do this, <laughs> picking his nose and then touch Brechen, but then keep the kids, bro. And kids are like, nah, it's cool, no one is going Figure out what happens if I try to, <laughs> if I try to break with, with the left leg. And it was bad. That was so quick. With automatic, you only use one foot. This is petrol, this is brake, and this is a handbrake over here in this car. But now I tried doing this and it didn't work out so well. <laughs> Luckily there were no cars behind me so that was good. Okay, so this is Chinatown. That is Chinatown over there. The ice side. cream machine like in the street. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? But what if they think falls on your car, bro? It's like it's Chinatown, I'm saying. <laughs> Chinatown. That's my baby right there. <laughs> I have a car. <laughs> Tell me something. Mm -hmm. Is that a doll or a human? Come on, let's be honest. I can't stress this enough. Never buy electronics from here. Never. It might be cheap and it might work good for a bit, but it's not worth it in the long run. We're leaving now. It was pretty cool. You get a bunch of good stuff in there. What you could buy here is tents, clothing, not electronics. Everything else is. Got to Chelsea's place and got some of this. I actually made a video on this place before, so I just found this guy. Messed up guy, bruh. 
a screw up, a screw up. That's what you call him. Right? I saw this guy trying to hustle for some cash, and you know, street guy. It's not a street guy. <laughs> I didn't know it's a street guy. It might because be a guy. You see how he looks like? Like no one would come from my house looking like that, man. Okay, he's basically a beggar, I think. I don't know what to call him, but yeah, freeloader. That's what they called. Most of them just ask you for cash, but some of them get a little smart about it. Some of them say it's for their church, some of them say it's for their whatever. And this one said it was for school. 2,800 saved up and he's looking to go to school. Now, people say a lot of bad stuff about our government. But the good thing about our government is you can basically go to school for free here in Namibia. Primary school was made free a while back and now high school is free as well. And now tertiary education, you just need to get a loan and you're good. You can go to school for free for basically nothing here in Namibia. Yeah. Where's, where's the food? We got this. this interesting about that they blocked the entire road for like i don't know 30 minutes or so before, before? after <laughs> like i said we have a bunch of cars in this yard and there are a few missing. I got one of them, which is pretty cool. Woke up, it's pretty late at night, nine o'clock, I slept at around three, which means not great, but I gotta get that work out in. I usually go about a good hundred before I stop. I actually challenge myself to say, if I can get to a hundred, then I can stop. Skipping rope is just like any other skill, you can learn to get better at it. So I'm gonna do some tricks. After every 10, I'll change the jumping style. Ah, let's try this again. No fancy stuff. Get into a hundred. So frustrating. That's it. Accepting the word no. The word no is hard to take in, especially when you really wanted something. So naturally you think, I just gotta care less about stuff and then it won't hurt as much when I'm disappointed. That's not the solution. What you have to do is learn to discipline your disappointment. Today I wanted to film this guy's shop in Chinatown. Cause he's probably the only shop that has original stuff. I asked him, yo, can I film this? And he's like, for what? Just for some advertising stuff. It's nothing complicated. I'll just move the camera around a bunch of times. And he's like, no. Hmm. No. Free advertising. Just taking videos of the shop. But I get it. It's his shop. He doesn't want people to advertise it wrongly. Free advertising. Just taking videos of the shop. But I get it. It's his shop. He doesn't want people to advertise it wrongly. And something else happened today. I saw YouTube release their rewind video and it was it was good. And I saw a lot of negativity. So I saw this as an opportunity. Then we work out as I planned. YouTube did not rank me. At all. That was disappointing. Giving up on something you love doing is the worst thing you can ever do. Especially if the reason is so little. Usually when I'm up late working, I get hungry. So I go out to buy some food. And I like taking those long drives, just listening to music. And when I get home, I sit in the car and listen to some more music. Which is pretty cool because I don't really get a lot of time off to 
So I came here because I'm about to write my first ever spoken word poetry for my main channel. And I don't know, I'm hopeful. I don't know if I'm gonna be good at it. I'm hoping I'll be good at it. I know all the basics of what I'm supposed to have, so I think I'll get it right. I found that trying to write something emotional just off the bat is a lot tougher than it seems. It's like I have this block. I can't seem to put it into words. I end up sleeping in the car.